This is what my story is all about today. Oh, it's about plan of salvation. Do you know what that means? No. That means to be saved. Yeah. And I didn't take that story from my head. I took it in a book that's called The, the Doer's Gospel uh, Balloon Routines. And uh, it's a very long skit, so I hope that I'm not going to bore you to death. However, I want to ask you if you're scared, because in this skit, we're going to have some uh, uh, we're going to have some squeaking and squawking. We're going to have some pop off pops. We're going to have some cuts. We're going to have some flying balloons. We're going to have just about everything. However, when the balloon stops flying in the church, please don't run and get them. It's okay. They're going to be there till after service. And then we can retrieve them. Okay? So that sounds good? All right, so then we're going to start at the beginning, right? In Ephesians 2, verses 4 and 5, it says, God loves us all. Now, in Romans 3, 23, it says, that we all sin. So, whether we sin, God still loves us. However, when we sin, there is a penalty for sinning. What do you think it is there, Emily? You think, what is the penalty when we sin? Well, it says in the Bible that when you sin, you, it's death. So, and the thing is, now this is the first one. I'm going to put this book here. Because it says that in Matthew 16, 26, someone without God in their life, they go up in circles and they end up absolutely nowhere. And this, I hope I'm going to demonstrate properly. Uh, all right, it didn't cut. It was supposed to. They're not magic. So, people that have no God in their life, they go around in circles and they go nowhere. So that wouldn't be very good, would it? So, on Corinthians 1, 15 three, it says that God loved us so much that he sent his son on the cross for us, for our sins. And Jesus died on the cross for our salvation. Like I said, this is a very long skit, so we're gonna, we, we're, I hope we're not bored yet. Good. So if Jesus came and saved us on the diving cross for our sins, we now have life, eternal life. However, it's not just given like this. You have to, first of all, you have to accept Jesus and believe in him. And then you have to repent from sin. That means forgiveness. And you know what? Just because we accept Jesus into our hearts, it doesn't mean that our life has to end just like that. And just because we want to take away all the sins, my scissors are not working very well, all the sins in our life, it doesn't mean that Sorry, my scissors are not very good. It doesn't mean that we, we lose our life. It just means that our life is even better and better. <laughs> so, now that we, we have gotten rid of all the uh, bad stuff of our life, Jesus says that we have become a new person. 
And there we are, a new person, as a Christian, but it doesn't end there because some people, they think that popularity will get them to in heaven. But you know what? It won't. I promise it won't. So, this is what happens. Some people think that popularity is going to get them to heaven. No. Some people think that politics is going to get them to heaven. No. Some people think that he, money is going to get them to heaven. No. Some people think that good looks is going to get them to uh, heaven. And is the answer yes? Or no? No. No. But Jesus and his everlasting store promises will also get you to heaven. Not the devil, not things of the devil, but Jesus will. But now that we are Christian, our job is not over. Because when we're a Christian, we are supposed to talk about Jesus saved, the way he saved us, and it's our responsibility to <laughs> tell the good news. And this is how we do, and we are supposed to tell the good news <laughs> that Jesus saves. And we're supposed to say that very happily. And that is the end of my story. And now you're going to wonder why all these frogs? Well, for one thing, I'll wait. What does frog mean? What does frog mean? Okay. For, for ever. Forever. And ever. Ever. Rely. Rely on. So therefore, forever we will rely on God and look what happens. And what do we have in there? Candy. We, uh, it is it's candy, but what is it? The life saver. And why life savers? What does life saver remind of us of? That Jesus is our life saver. That is very correct. Now we're going to bow our heads. And we're going to end up in a little prayer. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every one here today. We thank you for your most precious gift of your, dearest, of your dear son, Jesus, who died on the cross for us. We ask your blessing on us. And we ask that in your precious name. Amen. Thank you, Merlin.